Hi, today we're working on this MagSafe One uh, power adapter for MacBook. And as you see, the cable is completely gone. It's just ripped. So we're going to replace it. We got this new cable uh, from online. And it has two leads, two lead cables, black and white. And it's got it's got an L shape um, magnetic connector. So, um, as you know, this thing is not um, serviceable. Really, there's no screws. There's no like clips that you you can easily unsnap or unscrew and um, actually uh, take it apart. So. And um, the way we do it is, uh, actually I've seen it online, people doing it. You just use flat pliers or any sort of pliers. But this, this particular uh, shape works perfect. And you open up um, these little uh, hooks for the wire. You just put the pliers in there and you basically try to pull it apart by by pulling the the you know the pliers apart you're pulling actual casing apart so you do it on one side and then if that's not enough you do it on the other side basically there's glue right here that's going to break and then we're just going to use like you know a general purpose um uh you know adhesive or glue that you can buy at walmart and uh and use like clamps to really you know clamp it let it dry and it's gonna look perfect so let's just open it up and pull okay so one side is good let's try the other okay good we don't technically need to um, fool it like if if it doesn't go all the way up I mean no this in this case we would but sometimes if actually this case stays here but that one comes off we don't really need to remove this one because all we need is access to the motherboard right here uh, where the cables are actually soldered to the board so from here on I would need to undo this little piece of tape, unfold this um, aluminum, I guess, coating or cover. And at this point, we'll have to use solder, soldering iron, and and do a few points right here. So, uh, let's do just that. Okay, so here we are at my soldering station. And I'm using a pretty big tip. Because there's quite a big bulb, like blob of, of uh, solder that I need to work on. So... I'm uh, just using some flux right here. So first, I'm trying to remove this. This shield is soldered to the um, board, so I guess it's like a grounding uh, connection. So I'm trying to desolder that one first. Careful not to cut yourself because this aluminum is pretty sharp. So now we got rid of that. As you see, I'm not like breaking it, I'm actually removing it properly. So now we carefully peel this 
off. And so what we're looking for is for the two, because uh, every, every you know, uh, power supply is slightly different inside. I mean, 45, 60, and, and 85 watt, as well as, you know, MagSafe 1 and MagSafe 2, they're slightly different, but um, basically what we want is we want to make sure when we remove these broken cables, we catch the location of for a white one and for a black one, okay? Um, because, you know, this is a new cable, so that's what we're going to have to you know solder in there so and I'm I just noticed that okay well we have the white one right right here you know like the closer to the edge if you will or to the left and the right one right here is the black one so um, giving it a good um, Bit of flux and now we can use some tweezers to actually pull the cable out while we heat it up uh, let me find the ones okay these would be ideal so I'm just pulling because the cable will get hot. Okay, so I'm pulling down and I'm melting the solder at the same time. Okay. One is out. And now the second one is right next to it which is this one so again we're pulling on it okay and it's out too so now we just need to clean up the openings to feed the new cables okay as you see we have two nice circle openings for the new cables and again we remember that the location so I usually start from the from the one like the further away from me so that would be the black one the one that's kind of harder to to feed in there so I am okay, the, the okay the opening I'm sorry the cable is a little s smashed I'm just trying to make it round so that it goes through the hole correctly okay Let's see. Okay, as you see, it went well. And now we just put a bit more flux. And uh, just a solder wire. And we just put as much as possible. Uh, the cable is kind of long, so I will have to cut it. But first, I need to solder it, make sure there's enough of uh, metal. Okay, it looks nice and shiny. And then we cut the extra. Okay. That's done. The black one's done. Let's do the white one real quick. Again, I'm feeding it into that hole. Like that. A tiny bit of flux. And then get my solder wire. Let me see if I can zoom it in for you. Okay, I 
think that's a little better. And I'm, I'm feeding the wire and melting both surfaces at the same time. The actual like board and the cable, they both have to be hot at the same time to have a, a proper joint. Once it's fully dry, uh, you know, cold, we cut the extra. And now we can put the protective uh, plastic on. Let me zoom back out. So I'm, I'm putting this thing back down. Uh, we can put a tiny bit of glue here. Not that it matters, but just so that it doesn't move. Okay, that's perfect. And now we need to... Oh. Okay, it's gonna move. So that's that's garbage. So now we need to fold this back and actually solder that piece back onto that spot. Okay, that's how it looks. Okay, so all we need to do right now is just fold it. Back the way it was. You can use new tape. You can reuse all tape, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So now it's, this side is fully in. So what we need to do is we need to um, align this cable into this side, you see, like that, fully. Okay. So now I'm going to put everything Uh, back together. I will apply some glue first. Sorry, I will apply some glue first on this edge right here, all across the the perimeter, a little bit over here as well, and a tiny bit over here. And then I need to put these um, little springs like that into the bottom. And that will actually, th th this thing, this is a little spring to hold these hooks up and down. So the, if you remember, when you bring them up, they're actually staying up. They don't just fall down. And that's, you know, thanks to these. So we need to absolutely put them back. So let's just um, apply glue all around the charger. And if there is some glue that's, you know, a little bit like it's coming outside uh, of the charger, and I usually just clean it up uh, almost right away just to make sure it doesn't um, get, uh, you know, doesn't set. But even if it does set, you can, you can kind of clean it later. So, but try to keep it as, as neat as possible. So I'm putting the, the springs back into the bottom casing for now, only. Make sure they're perfect in there. Okay. Like that. So, and I'm... This is not super glue, so it doesn't set like in, in two seconds. We have a little bit of time. Not a whole lot, but... So I'm putting the actual hooks now, and um, 
again making sure that this cable is here pro correctly uh, I'm slowly putting the top casing down on it and you got to you got to have very little space in here and you can ch actually check the the hooks right away before you really um set it but yeah you can you can wipe this with like um either paper towel or either paper towel or napkin right away and then with alcohol you can get all the extra glue but I should say that it, it turned out pretty well without you know uh, me doing cr going crazy and cleaning it I'll do the the super cleaning I guess at the end but for now all I need to do is clamp it it's very simple if you have clamps these are available from Home Depot I think maybe even Walmart um, you can definitely buy some online if you don't have clamps then you know you can use any household items like some heavy items if you have a weight that you can you see I, I close it at four corners pressed it moderately not crazy but good enough so that there's no um no spacing like more than it, there used to be you know so there was like a natural um little you know space or clearance between the two parts but it's not like crazy so um so um yes uh, when if you if you don't have these you can use any heavy objects that you can put on top of this thing for a few hours maybe like a weight or a couple of books maybe some old laptops or anything heavy that um, you know that has a solid surface maybe you can put like a, a, a little wooden board and then some uh, some objects w whatever you know whatever heavy stuff you can find will work okay and I'm gonna leave it uh, for I guess overnight because I'm about to leave the shop I'm gonna leave it come back tomorrow um, and it should be ready I'll just do final cleaning of the glue and that should be a nice refurbished uh, power supply okay and this cable uh, I think was purchased um, from eBay or AliExpress for maybe like five seven bucks but you know it's five seven dollars and a few minutes of your time and you can save this thing for you know for longer use again not that we do this for a, a lot but every now and then when we uh, urgently need one uh, we get one because these are not that expensive to buy you know it's only like 25 bucks you can find one on eBay uh, supposedly original so for 20 bucks this is not really you know it's not really that um, worth it but just for demonstration purposes and again uh, it's just exciting to fix things all right well if you like this video uh, hit thumbs up and uh, subscribe for our channel and I'll see you next time